we're just diving right in. Like this, this it just starts. You're not even like lead us in. It, I'm, I'm, it just starts. Like I don't even know what game this is. It just started. What is going on? I'm messing around. Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithNews.com, and I am checking out Toby the Secret Mine. And if you're looking at this and thinking, hey, this kind of gives me a, a limbo-esque kind of kind of feel, um, you aren't wrong. And that's the title again. In case you didn't believe me, it's Toby the Secret Mine. So, is Toby the name of the mine, or? Toby's the name of your character. I'm gonna go with the latter. I was kind of, I, I, I kept calling it Toby and the Secret Mind. Anyway, um, the buddies who kind of look like you have been kidnapped by larger creatures who look like you, but they have red eyes. And you have to solve a series of puzzle platforms and try not to get killed. Now he had a quiver of arrows. He or she had a quiver of arrows, only shot one. It's almost like they're leading you. I've said too much. So, uh, Toby's Secret Mine clearly has been influenced, I, in my opinion, by games like, like Limbo. Uh, very, uh, not very colorful. Well, uh, it gets the job. I, I think the the color palettes they've chosen are, are effective. Uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, but the puzzle elements and the environmental uh, hazards and things. Uh, throughout the game, there are some puzzles. They don't really kind of lead you into them. I don't want to show them all for fear of just, I don't know, maybe showing too much of the solution or whatever, but they just kind of come out of nowhere and there's really nothing that prepares you. You just kind of kind of just wing it. So a lot of them I just kept. They didn't take me very long to figure out, but initially I was thinking, I'll never get this, but then I did. Um, as you see, there's 26 of your friends that have been kidnapped and they're not always in obvious places as you just saw. Sometimes you have to walk into the darkness in order to, to get them. Ooh, water. I like that puzzle. It involves water. Uh, there's really there's no combat. Um, you pretty much do everything by avoidance. That that's what's best. Yeah, another another puzzle. That just they're just like like the most pure like trial and error just do it just solve it you know just, just go it's like okay sure um uh the enemies you know connor uh there's a, a nice variety of them um some are easy to avoid others not so much i do like the different environments like you saw you were kind of like in the movie first of all you, you have the green background at first and then like the blue this is somewhat of like a, a sandstorm kind of thing. Clearly, this is like a snowstorm and an avalanche is kind of following you. This section was kind of difficult to see the platforms, but it wasn't a big deal. Uh, I, I made it through, and I'm not very good at games. And if I can do it, at least you can do it. Overall, I, I enjoy what I played of Toby the Secret Mine. It wasn't anything that was. It wasn't like the freshest game i mean there's been other games like monochroma and things like that that are quality good good fun games in their own right um not really reinventing any any wheel of, of sorts but every game isn't going to reinvent the wheel and i guess we probably shouldn't expect them to if i'm being honest but the puzzles that were there i did enjoy them um i made it through them that's always a plus uh i died a lot and yeah, yeah. There's just a lot of things out there trying to kill you. It would always kind of weird me out when they would like, like you saw earlier, when the enemy shot the arrow and just shot one, and then right, just to sort of just mess with you. you know? I don't know. Um, it, you can see the influences of the game, Toby, but that in no way means it's not a quality, quality product. It is. It is a fun game. Uh, I think it's. Appropriately priced. So if you think that limbo and you've already played limbo, I recommend it. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's solid. And it, it doesn't overstay its welcome, which is always a plus. So I guess I guess that's that. Or if you like, subscribe, click on any one of these videos and be taken to a playlist with hundreds, I mean literally hundreds of other videos that you can so like and comment on.
So if you want to leave a comment about whether or not you play Limbo, like those games that are sort of styled like it or not, let me know what you think. I'll probably respond.